Hey, what is up everyone? Thank you so much for checking out my YouTube channel. Um, today I want to talk a little bit about sweet picking, economy picking and outside picking. Really different names for the same thing and you'll see what I mean in a minute. So what I mean by this is if we take a little triad shape, right? So let's just say I'm going to play right here. So I'm playing B minor triad here, right? I'm just going to go uh, 16, 15, 14 on the three high strings. This is what I used to get some really cool video game sounds with. Um, I'll like often use, i uh, got flip up to my uh, neck pickup for this, get a really like uh, arcade machine video game sort of sound. So let's just take this arpeggio, check this out. I'm gonna go down, 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 like I'm just a regular, regular sweet pick, right? Now, when I get to the outside of it, I'm going to pick that F sharp and the high string twice. Because I'm going to pick up into it. So I've got this kind of thing going on. Right? Then we're going to go back up. And I'm going to pick that G string twice. Okay, so I've got this going on. just allows you to go that much faster because you, you don't have to really worry about you know almost like alternate picking your way back like hopping over the high E string you just just drill right through it I really like these the, the, I think they sound really cool now I got I got the idea for this sort of stuff when I discovered a guy called Shane Gibson um, he unfortunately passed away now um, he's an absolutely phenomenal guitar player. I used to watch his YouTube videos. I'd never even thought of playing like this before and then uh, you know, I'd, I'd seen him do it and then Rusty Cooley doing doing that kind of stuff. Um, now, let's just expand this. So from being a triad, let's make, a, let's make like a major seven arpeggio out of it. So here I'm just doing a G major seven arpeggio. Check this out. So different finger for different strings. Uh, you actually use this exact thing in uh, Shred Wars I did with Jared Nines. I'm going to go 17, 16, 15, 14. Down, 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 down. Up, 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 up. And I'm outside picking the outside string. Right? They you really want to make sure that you're uh, getting this real clean, but and really getting that, that double really accenting, accenting the doubles, right, on the outside. Right, you can annoy your friends and family for hours, right, just by going <laughs> chromatically. And the way I'm doing that is when I get to the back to the G, the D string, sorry. For the double pick, I slide. Now my uh, pinky is on the 21st fret here, and I'm just ready to just continue the pattern. I'm not picking any different. If, you, if I play that slowly. Right? So the challenge is to get um, to get your fingers to sort of different, differentiate. I might go to uh, a bigger pick actually, just to get more of an aggressive pick sound. I'm picking pretty hard here. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, I might use it in my in my regular arpeggio shapes too, right? So, for example, in um, in again in Shred Wars, I do this. Uh, I think I'm I can't remember what arpeggio I'm doing, but right here I'm, I'll just do a B minor arpeggio, right? I think I was going like. Uh, Yeah, something like that. Yeah, so lots of fun to be had with that. Because I do favor that double pick kind of flutter video game sound, I actually do use it on my regular arpeggio. So, you know, where we might take a arpeggio like, you know, D minor here. I'll, I'll probably go, and well, I will go. And double pick that. You know, I think a lot of guitar players actually do do this instead of hopping off of that G string and hopping round and sort of picking down into the B string. And the reason that I say that is because I used to do it and not realize I was doing it. Um, but I chose not to correct it because I 
one, I think it sounds cool and it helps you stay in control to turn it back around. Um, so I really like the sound of it. Um, it's pretty optional though, but if you pick every note, you can get a cool like. You get that flutter going on as opposed to sort of like, which is a more traditional way. Um, but I really like to get that flutter going on. I use that on my fire string shake. If you, if you hear the aggression in the sort of pick here, really get that video game sound going on. Right, so I'm really up picking the outside there. I'm gonna do doubles, right? You know, I also use this technique to practice what I call dissecting the arpeggio, and I'll do a whole other video on this later, but I kind of did one already um, a long time ago, a few years ago now. Whew. Um, but I'll put a link to that up here. If you watch that video, let's just say, because a lot of guitar players have problems with rolls, like rolling arpeggio. Let's just say if I have like a B major arpeggio, right? A lot of guitar players might have a problem in the middle there, going like 16, 16, 16. So what I suggest is you just stick on a metronome or a backing track and just go. No, it's how I'm picking the outside notes. Down, 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 up, 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 down, 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 up, 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 right? Really practice getting the outside roll going on. Right? And then when you put it together, you, it's just gonna uh, it's gonna be somewhat much cleaner. Much love, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this. If you got some value from this video, um, please leave me a comment. Please leave me a comment. Let me know any other videos you would like me to make. Um, I uh, do my best to get out as much content as I useful content as I can as quickly as I can. Um, and if you want to do something for me, if you go to JackieVincentOfficial.com and subscribe to my mailing list, you'll get you know promo code to my store. Um, you'll get uh, notified via email whenever I release new uh, content. You, you'll find out when I'm doing shows, things like that. So much love, guys. Thank you so much. Peace out. Enjoy the rest of your week.